Shit, I'm gonna die. Feed me. Ah! I heard him, but I don't know where to go. I can't see any cuffs. Damn it, where's the key? There's light here, so it has to be around here somewhere, surely. Still coming. Mine. You were mine. Hey. Ah, I got stuck behind the thing. No, you can't. Uh, I saw him. He's right there. Damn it, where's that key? Well, maybe I need to kill him so I can get his saw. That'd be nice. It's gotta be something about this light. Almost assuredly. Oh, okay. Thanks, light. Whoa! Uh. Hmm? You need to tell me something? Okay, please tell me a secret. I can't understand you, brah. Okay. That guy really got me. I wasn't prepared for that. Leave me alone. Ah, uh, here we go, key, got it. I heard there's someone coming down the door, so that sucks. Oh, the music stopped. How nice. Everything's A-OK. -okay. Oh, a document. And a battery. Gender selection in Mount Massive. Uh, okay, let's see. Author, Ethan. Note. This is a request for the specific legal consultation of the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Cho against Murkoff Corporation Charitable Psychiatric Inc. USA filed in 2010. At the time of Ms. Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of the morphogenic engine on female employees and patients has been well established. Already more than seven female employees and a half and, and patients have reached fictitious half-term pregnancies in the matter of weeks before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Female employees were moved to higher floors in the facility, then to other buildings, and eventually entirely off the Mount Massive facility. The critical secrecy of Project Wallrider necessitated 
secrecy in the motivating factor for the reassignment and terminations, resulting in perceived injustice from several terminated parties. Miss Cho has succeeded in acquiring a court-ordered FOIA release of the documents surrounding her termination. Those documents will need to be generated and post-dated, providing an anomaly information while skirting the relevant secrecy of the project. Please advise. Oh, that explains why there's no women in the women's ward. And, uh... Now, I know that Dr. Hacksaw is going to come up to me. Oh, this is... Here he comes. Whew, see you, boy. Oh dear. I saw someone bang on that. Ah! Shit! No, it's Bitey Man! Shit. Well, that was bitey. This guy that was alive before. Well, he's not alive now. I saw a ladder I could probably go up, but I... Can we just go out this exit? No, we can't. Oh, a church. God and family. Father Clark, far be it from me to lie to a man of God, so let me at least say that I will do my personal best to improve the safety of your working conditions. I and the rest of the staff truly appreciate everything you do for our patients, and if you feel threatened by anybody in particular, simply please let us know and we can either increase chem chemical restraints or administer a lobotomy or something calming, some calming procedure. Don't underestimate the contribution of your sermons offer to our patients, especially considering the depth and necessity, chaotic nature of hypnotherapy. Our patients need the bedrocks of God and family, not all of our poor unfortunates have family to call upon, and so the burden and calling is yours. We are all of us relying on your faith and hard work, Dr. Newhouse. Let's see, so we can climb up here. That wasn't very... Nice. Let's just have a look around for items. There's a battery. Guess that's all. Alright, let's head to uh, that ladder. <laughs> oh, 
Ouch. I must have stepped on the fire. Alright, jump. Okay, well that was the wall rider. I wonder if I have to get through here. Nope. Get through there. Uh, that looks like a long jump. Oh, well, that was a saw. old Hannibal. Neurology? I oh, guess this is a dead end. Ah, come on. How am I going to get past this guy? I'm around his desk. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. safe. Let's go into the bathroom. Oh, that guy's getting what he deserves. I thought I got a note. Ah, there he is. Varying effects. Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I've never seen the patients after they've gone through that German so-called therapy, the engine. So much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them. And too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murders. They were sick, that they weren't killers. Murkoff made the monsters. Dr. Rosette said that the engine had varying effects, the variant outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as an idle, cafeteria small talk. Rawls endless chatter. I should have listened.
This is long. Whoa.